Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a fantastic day. I hope you had a great week this week. I hope you had a good Valentine's Day. If you celebrate that little holiday or that special love day. Um, and actually a lot of my favorites are things that I got for Valentine's Day for my husband. Um, oh my gosh, I've just been reaching for these items. I shopped, I shopped drugstore and high end, but never like super high end. Like I only at Tom Ford or Armani and stuff like that whenever it's a holiday or something, you know. Um, I don't know why that's just something I do, but I tried so many of these products. I've worn these products almost actually I've worn these products every day this week so I actually got my Valentine's Day gift on Friday instead of Sunday which is which was actually Valentine's Day but um, I was having a bad day Friday so we were like well let's just exchange gifts early so that's what we did I'm actually also filming in my bedroom today we had sleepovers we have friends here and this is I feel like the quietest room and my makeup room let's be real is a total wreck like it is such a wreck my sister was here a few days this week staying the night and stuff just because she had some stuff going on so she kind of took over that room and I'm trying to put it all back together but anyways let's move on and I, I wanted to mention I did a day in the life of video earlier on in the week it posted on Sunday actually and it's our typical homeschool day we really want to get into vlogging more so if that video is something that you want to see more often let me know and let's jump into these favorites so let's just talk about the one random um hair care item this my friend leslie lip gloss leslie swears by this is like her favorite shampoo is the garnier fructis and this is the the volume hairspray and um it's supposed to give you body and lift i don't typically use hairspray but with these bangs and this like hairstyle i have now i really have needed a hairspray to keep my bangs in place and stuff and this is a really good one I have spent money on like the bumble and bumble hairspray before and I think that this one works just fine and not only that this one smells amazing so if you use hairspray and you haven't tried this I definitely recommend you giving it a try okay and this is let's talk about blushes because this is funny this is this wasn't for Valentine's Day I ordered this it's the new Sephora Let's see, Perfection Mist Airbrush Blush, and it's supposed to be waterproof. I have that on my cheeks today. You guys, this is so interesting, and I really questioned it. A lot of people on the review said that they spray it on their hand and then apply it with a brush, but I've just kind of been, like, spraying it, like, not real precise, just giving myself some pink cheeks this one is in the color um, pink of perfection I feel like it's kind of a really natural blush look and it's super easy I find that I'm probably gonna use this a lot in the summertime throw on a BB cream spray this on my cheeks add some waterproof mascara and go out the door so um, I really like this now I was at Sephora the other day and I sprayed a couple of the lighter ones like they have one that is a really neutrally brown kind of like tart exposed and it just didn't show up on my hand and then they have a coral one that also um, didn't really show up let me I mean here's what it looks like when it sprays out now you can also spray it on your face and then use your beauty blender to kind of blend it out it's just a really natural flush it's like I don't know I really like it I, I, I and I didn't think 
I would like this and I really do now another thing I got this for Valentine's Day actually I have been wanting to try this for a while since I really read re reviews on this company this is the first thing I've ever tried from the Tata Harper line they have them at Sephora and Nordstrom this is the volumizing lip and cheek tint and very charming and this is probably my favorite cream blush that I have tried so far um, it works beautifully on your lips now this to me is very conditioning so I will put this down oh I put that over a different swatch I'll put this down on my lips when I sit down to do my makeup there it is right there it just gives me a really great base to whatever lipstick I'm gonna apply and not only that but it also um, it feel, I have a lot of loss of pigmentation on my lips and it kind of fills in that part and it conditions it but I love this on the cheek as well so today I put I sprayed the, no I put this on first now this is a very sheer wash of color on your cheeks it but it's so beautiful you can build it up you can blend it out for a very natural look, I think you would really love this product, but I wanted to use this, so I sprayed a little bit on top of it. So, both of these blushes have been, I haven't worn any other blushes this week besides these two, and I love them both. They are definitely a different price point. I think this is $18 or $20. I believe this one is $40, but this is one that you can use as a lip balm or a lip tint as well. So, um, and this one lasts on the cheeks longer than the airbrush one. So, I really like both of these blushes that this week. Now, this next product is actually something I had never seen. Brad was browsing on Nordstrom getting my Valentine's gifts, and he saw this. This is limited edition, but if it's still available, I will link it because I think he just bought it a couple of weeks ago. But it's the Giorgio Armani Lux Is, is More palette. Um, it comes with 10 eyeshadows, which is so great. Um, I really like using this black shadow shadow as a eyeliner. These shadows are very beautiful. It's a really kind of soft palette, but it does have this shade and the black to deepen up in your outer corner, and I love that. But my favorite part of this palette is actually the second layer. And, um, this is what I've been using all week as my foundation routine. So I put this on kind of like my chin and my nose and up under my eyes and down here and on my forehead. But then I use this one that's a little bit darker. They're cream foundations. And I put that one where I would typically contour. And um, I love the formula of this. And I don't have to use much. I've never been one of those girls that just will put concealer on and then a powder and go. Like I put concealer, I put powder, I put foundation like all of it but this week I've just used these two they're cream it says on the website you can use them as cream concealers as cream contour as foundations whatever you want to use them for and then this is a very finely milled luminous um powder I mean you're not going to be able to see it but it's beautiful so this is what I've used this week I have just done like I said with these and then for my whole face, I have used um, this powder down here, even for under my eyes and everything. And it's just really convenient to kind of have it all sitting out. And on the areas that I don't need a lot of coverage, I don't need a ton of coverage on my cheeks. My main problem area is in the center of my face. I have hormonal acne. I have hyperpigmentation. Um... So I don't use a lot of that concealer over here. I just put on the powder. So I really, really, really like this. I'm glad I got it. I would never go out and spend 
you know the money on this because it is quite expensive but I'm so glad that he picked this, this out this is nothing that was even on my radar I had never even heard about this but it's great if you travel a lot it's got all of your products in it I mean it's amazing it really is amazing and I love it um I did play with those eyeshadows a little bit this week and I also played with this next product which I'm putting these little I'm putting these little pads back in because on the go, sometimes Brow will be like, let's, you know, let's go to lunch together or something. Let me come home, swing by, and get you for lunch, and I don't have my makeup on yet. So this would be great to just take on the go, grab it, do my makeup in the car while he's driving. So the next thing that I opened up for Valentine's Day, I, I literally cried when I opened this, and that sounds so so materialistic but I have to tell you that um, I've never bought a Tom Ford quad I do have one that a sweet sweet beautiful subscriber sent to me but I've never personally bought one and Brad has never bought me one this one I wanted since 2014 it was released as a limited edition palette it is the Tom Ford quad in nude dip and I am wearing that on my eyes today. It is the most beautiful, hands down, it's the most beautiful eyeshadow, quad, palette, anything that I've ever seen in my life. I love how sleek Tom Ford packaging is. Um, I feel super like, I don't know, like a movie star whenever I put these on my lids. There are no matte shades. This brown, however, if you use a big fluffy brush like I did today, you can put it in your crease and not look too crazy. It's not metallic. It's really not even a shimmer. It's more of kind of a satin finish. And when you buff it out, it definitely works in the crease or to deepen up your outer V. This is a palette for someone who works in an office, maybe a teacher, you know, someone who doesn't do a lot of crazy looks, you know, every day. It's very soft. It's very brightening. It's got these Two, it's got like a champagne and a rose gold. It's got a taupe and a brown. Just everything you would need except for maybe a transition shade. Now, I used this taupe as a transition shade on a fluffy brush and it's fine. I'm not afraid to put shimmer or satin eyeshadows anywhere. Matter of fact, I have this lightest one on as a cheekbone today. I got my brush wet and I put it on and it's beautiful. The formula of this one is different. This is a wet dry formula, which I think they only have two by Tom Ford that are wet dry. This one and Honeymoon, I believe. The one that I have is Coco, no, it's Kanye Sable and that formula is definitely different than this one. These seem to blend a little bit better and I'm pretty sure because they're that baked formula it's just so easy to work with. I love this palette. I'm pretty sure they have now made new dip permanent. I cried because I wanted it so long. I just, I don't know, it's just so beautiful to me. And I'm, you guys know I'm super passionate about makeup. So I was just so happy. And that was so sweet that he got that for me. And then for lips, I'll go ahead and talk about what I'm wearing today because this was one of my Valentine's Day gifts too. It's the Tom Ford um, Matte Lipstick in First Time. Now, I will say that this formula, the matte formula, is not my favorite in the Tom Ford line. Your lips have to be really good exfoliated and hydrated and... Um, you have to be careful with this formula, but this color, he picked out this color. He actually added two lipsticks to his cart, but he accidentally got the same color, so I need to switch the other lipstick like this out, um, but I do love this. That's what I'm wearing today. I think it's absolutely stunning. I think that um, it would match with so many skin tones. If you like a matte lip, you would probably 
love this. I did pair it with the Marc Jacobs Primrose Liner, just in case you're interested. This has been a long time favorite of mine. I use that for like everything. You guys, I feel like I'm talking in slow motion today because I'm so tired. I am so tired today. I don't know what is going on, but I'm just I'm going to like need a nap after this. And then, um, okay, I talked about this on Snapchat so much. I freaking love this lip gloss. This is the Dolly um, Sophia. No, not Dolly. The Buxom Sophia. And this is one of their um, full-on lip polishes. I love this. As a matter of fact, I'm going to put some on right now. It is so beautiful on its own. That's how I wore it, just on its own. But you can like top it over any lipstick and it just, oh, just gives you that pout that, oh, I love it so much. You see how this, the Tom Ford lipstick just, I don't know, it kind of, it kind of bunches up. So, I love the color, but the, I'm not crazy about the formula. Back to the Buxom, though. If you don't have Sophia, I think anybody would love this. You could wear this, like I said, like on its own. It is super pigmented. It's, very, it's a plumping lip gloss, or it's a minty flavored lip gloss, so you do feel kind of um, a cooling sensation on your lips, which I personally like, but I definitely recommend this one. And then I use this little mini Givenchy lipstick in Rose Aristocrat number 201. My son has been going through a phase where he like, he's wanting to pick out my lipsticks, which I think is just the most adorable thing ever, but he picked out this one for me. And it's kind of more of a spring lipstick, but girl, Texas has been having spring weather, so it's all good. I love this. I had never used this before. I had just got it as like a sample perk or something. Um, maybe I cashed in 100 points for it. But I love the formula. That color is just so so beautiful. I was kind of feeling these coral colors this week, if you can't tell. But, um... And I really like the formula. I have one full size Givenchy lipstick. It's like a really Barbie pink. I don't know why I picked that one. I'll probably wear it a lot more in the spring, but this is amazing. So swatch it next time you're in the store. And that's it. Yep, that's it for my favorites. Oh, and I have been loving this shirt. I got this at Francesca's and it says, I don't care. No, I do not care. That's how I've been feeling lately. Yeah, I don't even care. Um, and I love donuts. So, uh, I got it at Francesca's very recently. So, they probably have it. It was in like their spring setup or whatever. So, that's it. I hope you guys have a fabulous weekend. Let me know below like what all your favorites were. I love it when you guys do that. Um, also, what else? Do I have anything else to say? Oh, and let me know below if y'all want me to do more like vlog type videos like I did last on Sunday. And that's it. Have a fantastic weekend, guys, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.